Hello, welcome to Arcade Cuties. I'm Faye. My pronouns are they, them. And I'm Talon. My pronouns are she, they. We have two guests with us today, if they'd like to introduce themselves. Sure, um, I'll start. Uh, I'm Liz or Lizzie. Um, I go by Lizzie Luck online. I'm a uh, content creator on Twitch. My pronouns are she, her. And I spend a lot of time on Twitter. um, And I play a whole bunch of Final Fantasy XIV. Nice. As you should. Howdy, y'all. My name's Jalen. Howdy. Online, uh, go by (laughs) Jalen Devon underscore. (laughs) <laughs> the underscore is important my pronouns are she they as well i'm a uh variety streamer but also um i primarily play final fantasy 14 so not really variety mostly uh 14 <laughs> <laughs> i feel like every variety streamer has at least like one yeah. game that is like 90 percent of their schedule it's all good oh, definitely. it's like variety asterisk you know yeah, exactly <laughs> it's perfect so today we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy XIV. It is an MMO RPG, probably the like most well known or most popular one. It's one of the biggest right now. right now, for sure. I would say a couple of years ago that was definitely wow, <laughs> for sure, for a long time, <laughs> for sure. yeah, yes. for a very long time. But you know what? Final Fantasy is is truly it's coming out there. That specifically fourteen, everyone knows about Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. I can never tell, like, how popular Genshin Impact actually is Uh, versus, like, how loud that fan base is. Yeah, it's, um, that's actually a very good point. (laughs) Now that I think about it, I'm like, you know what? I don't know either. Because, like, I know, I know they had an issue with the Game Awards specifically where, because they did, like, a voting system Mm -hmm. and they were apparently, like, bots just, like, spamming for Genshin Impact. Um, And so it, like messed with their results and they had to do a whole lot of math before the actual Oof. show to figure out who won that award but Ooh, wasn't there also okay that's actually a question for another podcast <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say wasn't there like also a genshin impact clone called fantasy tower uh tower fantasy, tower? Uh, tower tower of fantasy, fantasy. i think yeah. yeah tower of fantasy oh f- fantasy tower <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's definitely a thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was still a thing on top of there being Tower of Fantasy. But we're not talking about Tower of Fantasy. We're talking about the critically acclaimed uh, MMORPG Final Fantasy. Free to play <laughs> up until have- level 60. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it memorized, but I know I what enough. Like, no joke, I was going to ask if anybody had that copy pasta. Oh God, <laughs> it's so good. We <gasps> That should be the opening. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV free to play up until level 60, including the, wait, is it the critically acclaimed award winning <laughs> expansion pack? <laughs> Heaven's Word? I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's close enough. Yeah, for sure. I love that commercial. It's my favorite one that pops up on YouTube. <laughs> it's beautiful and amazing, and everyone should play it. Yes. Ding. Because Final Fantasy XIV is a massive game, uh, we're actually going to do a two-part episode. The second part will probably come out, like, honestly, a year from now when I have had, like, a better chance to, like, progress in the story. All same. Great. Good. This is great. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) And today we're going to mostly focus on, like, just generally what we like about the game, how we got into it. And I'm also curious about, like, y'all's history with with mmos in general if you had gotten into them before this is my first one technically i i played like five minutes of runescape when i was in middle school and oh (laughs) bounced off of it so hard Mm -hmm. but i i am really digging final fantasy 14. it's a good one it's very solid so my first question for y'all has anybody been playing this game since the original version came out like 1.0 i have not like yeah, before like Rome were born. 20, yeah. The 2010. No, no, not me. I know a couple 1.0 players, but. Yes, I, same. I was going to say, I know some people who have played it since launch, since pre launch. Pre launch? Is it still technically pre launch? Um, I, I think there was a beta. I was looking into it for a little bit because I think 
prior to Final Fantasy fourteen, they had eleven was an MMO. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that game ended. Oh, it's still going. No, yeah, it's still. It's oh, still, is it? They're not going releasing on. expansions for it, but the servers are still running. They yeah. have small updates here and there, and they still do like events. I didn't know it was they, still uh, running. I thought it was also completed, like finished. They actually just uh, there's an event going on. If you just log in once, uh, you get an Ixion mount, which has is That's brand new wild. to the game. <laughs> That is wild. I have no desire to play Eleven. I'll be honest. <laughs> like I'm so Not serious. Bad. Fourteen. Like, is we great. have fourteen. We have fourteen, and it's Truly. so good. That's the good Final Fantasy MMO to me. There are some things that I do wish were different, and that I will get into. Mm-hmm. That's important. Oh, yeah. There are some very important <laughs> things that I think mm-hmm. you all know. I think y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool. I didn't. I didn't know that. I think I assume because MMOs in general, like once their server dies, like there's that's just it. no going back to them. So that's cool. I didn't know that it was like still hanging out. Um, the first version of Final Fantasy XIV was released in 2010, and it did not do very well at all. People just like did not like it. There was a lot of bug issues and things. Well, they they like temporarily closed the server, and then like for three years focused on what would eventually become like a realm reborn and then from there like is when the game really took off yeah Hmm. you know what would be a really fucking fun idea what's that is if this not in this podcast obviously but in a future like special episode or something if we as a group watch the final fantasy trailers from the arr to like in walker i think that'd be so fun there's some really just like watching the trailers they're so good like legitimately i think my okay i'm getting off no it's all good it's all good go for it shadowbringer not shadowbringer stormblood is my no it was shadowbringer shadowbringer is my favorite trailer out of the six it's something about the oh, shine. Oh, that, I, that. I missed that opening. Oh, I missed that when opening. When you log so in, oh, it's so good. Oh my God. I cannot tell you how many times I'd log in and I would sing along. <laughs> it's great. Well, cause like MMO trailers are always so over the top anyways. Like anytime they show yes. up at an award show, I'm like, I have no idea what's happening, but like, like I will never probably play Elder Scrolls online, but like, no, look I'm neat. so sorry. <laughs> I have a couple of friends who are like heavily into ESO. <laughs> and I just look at the game and I'm like, oh, <laughs> why are they <laughs> like that? <laughs> why do they look like that? And I'm so sorry to any fans out there who love ESO. I just, ESO fans, y'all are, say, y'all are, am, y'all are great. I'm very jealous of their housing. I just cannot. <laughs> <I'm very jealous. laughs> Oh, yeah, that I am jealous of. The people who I were talking about who are really into ESO are just like, they also played Final Fantasy mm-hmm. 14. So they mm-hmm. they could like compare and like, oh, I am jealous of that. Yeah, the housing situation is pretty solid. Um, I, I do like how Final Fantasy has like, you have an address and there yeah. are neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Like I know my neighbors my of my, my FC's house. Like I get to know them around there, but um. I don't mm-hmm. like how scarce exactly. it is. I don't like how it's inaccessible to so many players because of that. Yeah, and locking mechanics behind uh, behind some of the FC ones specifically is kind of. I w- not that great. is exactly what I was going to get to. Speaking of housing, it's lottery based, isn't it? Now it is. It mm-hmm. was first come, first serve for, and then uh, whatever the placard thing was. <laughs> Mm. from years back when i first started playing or maybe i don't know if it'd be better to get into it when we talk about like when we first started playing because when i did first start playing uh we had a bunch of friends who were all playing at the same time this was like right after the animal crossing boom (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think it was Mm -hmm. either before or after i never know because 2020 is a fucking blur Mm -hmm. actually it's still a blur we're in almost in 2023 but um (laughs) <laughs> we were trying to get a, a free company house. Um, and I remember two of us would take turns trying to get that house. Mm. And we tried for eight fucking days and we still didn't get it. Oh and we're God. just like, we have to give up. 
we got to go. I was not part of that. The yeah. two people, by the way, I could not, <laughs> I did not, I wasn't strong enough. <laughs> um, but it's, it's shit. It's, it's really bad. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know the specifics of it anymore about the actual housing issue, but it's ass. I do know that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a significantly lot better. better now with the lottery. Mm. It's it's just different kinds of. Words it's just there. another layer, another level. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's, but it is mostly better because now there aren't people who are clicking placards oh to get. Yeah. You don't you don't do that anymore. It's all lottery based. You can't uh, you can't just relocate. Mm. So like I was a previous um, housing owner uh, before the change, and before the lottery change happened, me and my FC were looking around for a Shirogane place. We had a, a missed small. We found a Shirogane oh. small and we just relocated. We didn't have to sit and click a placard. As soon as it was like the plot was empty, we could just move there. No problem. No questions asked as long as we're the mm. first person to do that. So we got a great beachfront Shirogane. <laughs> so and now the lottery's in and we're trying to get a um, medium or large. And mm-hmm. it's kind of a pain. You do have to like, you do have to put in the money still. Um, and it's just like random chance. So if if there's a plot open you want, you put in a bid each uh, officer can put in one bid. You can't have more than one bid mm. per account, so you can't use mm. alts anymore. Uh, yeah, which is a good actually. change. But you can still put in as many bids as you have officers. Dang. I think that is my my favorite thing about Final Fantasy XIV in general is just that the people who are super into it, like the most mundane sounding things are are the most fun <laughs> like i fucking love fishing in final yeah, fantasy 14 i knew you were gonna say and, fishing i fucking and like knew anybody it. <laughs> anybody i know who has a house is just like oh i love decorating it and it's animal crossing <laughs> <laughs> essentially like i just i don't know it's my favorite thing to hear people like info dump about mm-hmm. about this game specifically because yes! So much of it goes over my head, but like hearing people get happy makes me happy. So like, it, it's all good. I'm I'm actually so happy to hear you talk about fishing because that is what got me into this game. I saw ocean fishing once, and oh, then nice. I was like, uh, "I want to do that." That's the one. That was That's my first eighty me. job in, in Shadowbringers. It's for like, me. Fishing. Fishing, yeah, fishing is kind of what I do in this game. Me too, like, because uh, I also got into this game because of the the pandemic. I had a friend who streamed it pretty frequently, mm-hmm. and I saw them like start the. There was like a, a worldwide fishing event, I think, and, and they introduced the the little commander, the little shark guy. Oh, the major general. The major mm-hmm. general, yes. Like, they 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 announced him, and I saw him, and I saw him running around on his little legs, and I was like, I have to play this fucking game. Like, I have to have the major general like mm-hmm. as a friend. I need him, um, and so like that is what got me into Final Fantasy the first time. <laughs> I think I got him with within like like pretty early on. Nice. That's it was a, a huge event. That one's yeah. at eight K, right? I think that one's eight K points. Something, I think something so. like that. 5k is like the dolphin i think mm-hmm. which that dolphin is also very cute i use it for like a may uh, guilty gear cosplay <laughs> oh because because you have to wait it's like every two hours right for the fishing event to mm-hmm. to happen and then yeah. at that time like everybody was so excited for it there was no guarantee that i would even get into like a an excursion um it was wild I do uh, big fishing right now. I've been doing Shadowbringers big fishing, hunting these 45 rare fish for a title. Mm-hmm. And I have three fish left. I've been hunting them for months. Mm-hmm. They are a nightmare to catch. And I hate oh. myself for starting it. Did you get the El Meg one yet? That's the one I think that's like... Oh, the Aelid Scan? Yeah. No. Uh, not yet. That's one of the three. I need Cinder Surprise, mm-hmm. Aelid Scan, and Lancet Fish. Yeah, that window is so short on that one and so specific. I hate it. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, I have not played a lot of fishing in Final Fantasy fourteen. However, <laughs> y'all talking about it makes me want to play it. And it's not like I didn't play it because I didn't like it or I didn't want to. It's just because I have int- <laughs> I, I will say I have not. <laughs> you, sh- you should start with ocean fishing because you'll have as much as enthusiasm as like me and Faye. Don't get into yeah, big fishing. I- Otherwise you're gonna <laughs> oh, it'll dwindle like fast. It's, oh, no. it's, it's exciting and also just like it hurts. Genuinely it hurts. <laughs> relaxing. Um, like I don't oh. like fishing in real life, right? But the, but here it's fun. I have to be in a very specific mood for a uh, big fishing. <laughs> 
No, o- o- no. Otherwise, I'll get I impatient. haven't done Deep Dungeons either. I know that's They're also fun. a very specific thing. You There's know? a new one coming in probably March. It's probably the 6.35 update. Mm-hmm. Should be good. Okay. Confession. I have not played Final Fantasy XIV in maybe a month. So not that long. Mm-hmm. It's not that long ago. But mm-hmm. one thing I will say about Final Fantasy XIV, which for anyone who has never played it or hasn't played it in a long time, uh, for anyone listening, Final Fantasy is such a fun game to come back to. Mm-hmm. I always feel really welcomed. I remember when I first started playing it, because I only started playing it in 2020 but it's such a welcoming community it's so fucking wild (laughs) it's so wild how such a large mmo specific community is so warm because i remember the first couple of dungeons that i ever did i started as dps i think my first class was technically my first class was pugilist but i hated it (laughs) i hated i had like i was a rogue i was a i was a row uh pugilist and i hated it (laughs) um because one of the things that i do hate about final fantasy 14 is that this (laughs) the models have such some of the flattest asses i have ever seen in any mmo (laughs) or game period and it made me so sad i'm like i can't do this (laughs) so I, i um i did not continue on my row my roped in uh those are the giant uh, the you would say would you say that they're giants like the giant clot or the giant race in the yeah. game? I, I'd say they're the closest to like like an orc analog, I guess, but they're not orcs at all. In completely different thing altogether. Yeah, like, but like for someone probably. who's not initiated within Final Fantasy, I guess yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. like an orc would be would make sense. So yeah, they are the the tallest, I believe, the tallest race in the game, like base level. Or would you say that's the Elodin? No, the Elodin, Elodin? which is um, the elves. I think it is. I think Ro. the Rogan and are tallest still. Yeah, I is do it think it's Ro. Okay, okay. So yeah, so they were the because I <laughs> every time I play any like game where I can adjust height, I always make myself to be the tallest because I <laughs> IRL I am six feet tall, and I am happy with my height. Um, so I try to be as tall as I can in any game, but the the lack of ass as a row just <laughs> pained me physically. <laughs> there is a solution mm-hmm. to that. Oh, There's I know. It's called the you run the near mm-hmm. rates, get the two B bottom. Mm, I got that two B as soon as possible. I <laughs> best believe. Heck yeah. Best believe. But I wasn't clicking with the row, so I ended up being a Vera. Mm-hmm. And I went yeah. with a rogue Vera because I wanted to do ninja. Because uh, just as a like a little little context information with Final Fantasy XIV, you do have the ability to become any class that you want, but some you can only get after you hit a certain level. Like mm-hmm. rogue, you had to. I think it was like up until level ten, you had to be a rogue, and then you could branch to ninja. Right? Is it ten? Yes. Level, yes, level thirty. Level thirty. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. An original it's been a while. <laughs> For classes. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh I started out as DPS. All that to say, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All that to say that I started as DPS. And that was my f- first time playing an MMO consecutively. Like I never knew anything about like um like DPS or healer or tank. I never knew anything about the the like archetypes the archetypes yeah i didn't know anything about the archetypes i didn't know anything about healing tanking dps damage whatever i didn't know anything about that so what made it more fun for me was one playing with a group of people who really liked the game um because i had played mmos before i played terra i played blade and soul i played um black desert but none of them like captivated me or like grabbed me as much as i did when i played final fantasy 14. And I think it's because of the people that I played with really just like people you play with can really make or break an MMO. Mm-hmm. And I firmly believe that. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it it was a very welcoming com- uh, community because I was really bad. And I'm still not the greatest, but I was really <laughs> bad. <laughs> I was really bad. And like you would expect toxicity in certain situations like that, like, oh, they're fucking new, oh, duh, they're, they, they play like shit, or whatever. <laughs> but like, they were so nice. I remember in chat, they were like, 
They're like, oh, you must be new. And I'm like, isn't that obvious? <laughs> Yeah, and it's okay. It Everybody was. starts out new and with a sprout on their head yeah. and they have no yes. idea what they're doing in combat. But the great thing is the community is there to help you. Yeah. I did not know that the sprout meant that you were new and that's why they knew I was new. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, is it that obvious? <laughs> Probably. Probably, yes. Yeah. But um, it's... That big yeah. sprout above your head, definitely. Helps. It helps a lot. Because now, mm-hmm. being like it's been years and I'm playing the game and then I see a little sprout, I'm like... You got this. <laughs> I believe in you. Just like y'all believed in me. I believe in you. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> no, I think the, the folks that you play with like definitely have an impact on how yes. long you will stay with the game. Because that first time I got into it, I did one dungeon with the friend who I had watched stream. And afterwards, they were like, so you did this, 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 and this wrong. Um, oh. and, oh. and like, I thought I was just having fun and like no. running and attacking people. And, uh, apparently I did stuff wrong and they didn't want to do dungeons after that. And I was like, well, <gasps> like, oh, that's messed up. Like, no, like, oh, that would wanna... ruin it for me too. <laughs> Same like, well, for fuck, sure. Now I never want to play this game again. <laughs> well, I'm and so now, bad. Like, <laughs> and now, like having having restarted completely, like I'm, I have a new character, and like I have friends mm-hmm. who are m- much further in the game than I am, um, and they are like so welcoming. Like I've run around with yes, with you, Liz, great. before, and just mm-hmm. goofing around and. A couple other friends who have helped me, um, especially like not having to wait for a queue with those mm-hmm. like main story dungeons and trials, like oh, yeah. is very mm. nice. Well, now you can go through most of the uh, the main story dungeons with a party of NPCs. Yeah. Yes, the trust system. Really, yeah, I'm really so cool. glad they added that. Yeah. yeah, we just need Stormblood. We have they they're about to finish all the Heavensward and Heavensward patch dungeons with that with the duty support, and then they're doing duty support for Stormblood next. And then, uh, that's such a good feature. And then that's everything, right? Because mm-hmm. Shadow Shadowbringers already has the duty support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, Shadowbringers and Endwalker nice. already have it. So it's ultimately Final Fantasy fourteen. I say it's like a it's a single player JRPG disguised as an MMO because mm-hmm. it is an MMO. It's in the MMO framework. It has that infrastructure and everything. Yep. But you could play this game front to back and only be with have to be with people for like eight person trials mm-hmm. and the dungeons they haven't done yet and duty support, obviously. But my hope is that the entire main story gets Same. that treatment. So you can do the Ooh, trials. Because you can do you'll definitely else. have more Same. people join because of that. Because I know some people get really exactly. turned off with the whole it's... MMO aspect of an MMO. And that would really open it up to a lot of people. I know specifically yeah, that's, would be a that's lot That's why it took me it. so long to play. Because I love, like, the Final Fantasy series. I've played, like, almost all the other ones. Mm. And this one I didn't play until 5.5, which (laughs) is basically the end of Shadowbringers. Yeah, actually, same. I think, right? Because it's, like, 2020. Well, it came out 2020. Yeah, it was, like, um, it was, like, March 2020, maybe. Oh, really? Sounds about right. Yeah, it would be be, maybe around uh, around that time. Might have been a little later. Because they do right now, they're doing every four oh. months for a patch. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, every three months. I know why I was confused. I was thinking you said Shadowbringers came out in March. I'm like, wait, really? <laughs> no. no, just a patch, was, a patch. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, five months. <laughs> I am very new to Final Fantasy. 14 even still like i don't know a lot of the terminology i don't know like the deep lore like i watched it and i try not to skip a lot of the scenes <laughs> i did like try mm-hmm. to pay attention but sometimes i just had to fucking skip i'm like okay no it's it's, it's a lot of reading it's stuff. just not a voice cut scene i get that it, it truly oh my god and that <laughs> i will say is my adhd <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it's like, totally I, valid if you need to skip through <laughs> stuff they uh they do a pretty good job i genuinely love the voice acting um in the game sometimes it's a little bit of a miss i will say um arr but because <laughs> because everybody in a realm reborn has like the most <sighs> like cockney like hello hello like yes. oh my god i love sam regal so much i love sam regal yeah. but sam regal as what was he alphano alphano yeah <clears throat> 
I'm so sorry, the, babe. The <laughs> major issue, I think, for A Realm Reborn is they were really rushing to yeah. get A Realm Reborn out and everything. And they hired, um, I believe they went with an American studio mm. for that, mm. for the voices that for that one. Sense. And the dialogue is really heavily mm-hmm. inspired by classical English text, like Shakespeare and mm-hmm. stuff. And especially like Uriange, for example, oh, 100%. Uh, speaks in like full on <laughs> yes. Elizabethan. It's amazing. It's wonderful. But you need an actor or an, a whole cast who's able to carry that kind of yeah. dialogue and all the hitherto's and thou and mm-hmm. thus and be and be able to do all that stuff and know mm-hmm. what it means and say it and speak it in a way that the audience understands. And Realm Reborn, is believable. Didn't have that. <laughs> yeah, and so they recast it all. They went with a studio over in the UK somewhere for Heaven's Word and Beyond, and it's just stellar. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it to makes me, it's, sense. They knock it out of the park. Yeah. yeah. Uh, How much is that the, the voice actors and not just like, I guess, the direction? Mm. I think it's Direction or lack thereof, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like, I know it's like, it has to be a little of, of each maybe yeah oh, definitely yeah. for sure i don't blame the actors for it necessarily because yeah. like the example i gave with sam regal i do love sam regal and i think he's a fantastic voice actor but just not <laughs> just not for <laughs> alpha no <laughs> so sorry i i am curious uh because i don't think we've talked about it yet uh jaylen you mentioned fishing but do you or liz have have like stories attached to how you got started with the game oh sure well i um I've been playing MMOs for a really long time. Like I started with EverQuest back in 2000, mm-hmm. I want to say. Um, it was about when I started and got really hooked on EverQuest for many, many years. Evercrack, as most people called it. <laughs> and then World of Warcraft came out and all my friends jumped over to that. And I was like, okay, I'll check it out. Played that for years. And I've just been jumping around from MMOs all the time since. But then I, I really wanted to check out like, I played Final Fantasy XI briefly. I didn't like it that much, so I switched back to WoW. But, like, I heard about fourteen. I want to check it out. I love Final Fantasy. And so I started playing it, and I didn't... Coming from other MMOs, I didn't realize there was such an in-depth story in fourteen. So I started playing it back in, like, the end of Heavensward, the Heavensward patch mm-hmm. cycles. And I had no idea what was going on. I was skipping dialogue and skipping cutscenes. So I didn't realize the story was important. I didn't realize it was one continuous story. And I just wanted to get to the cool expansion that everyone was talking about. And uh, by the time I got to the end of The Realm Reborn, I was confused. I quit the game. I was like, this is silly. I don't like it. Boom. I'm done. Oh, no. And then years later, like I think two years later, I picked it back up. Or three, three years later, I picked it back up. And uh, actually caught up on the story. And then watched through everything and was like, wow, this is actually amazing. What was I thinking? Why was I skipping this? Why did I think it was like <laughs> another MMO, you know? Mm-hmm. It's very different. It is. I've heard the story like legitimately makes people cry at points. Like, yes. It is a oh oh my God. heavy hitter. <laughs> yes. During, during some of the, I'm not going to give me any spoilers, so... but during like some of the final like duties in the game, trials and dungeons and stuff, like I had full tears streaming down my face and was sobbing. Stormblood and was like, Why? Shadow what? Ringers for me. Shadow Ringers for me had me big boohoo. <laughs> oh yeah, they made real human tears a mechanic in in combat, and I have to give them props. For yes, that. <laughs> truly big ups. Um, thank you. Got to work around the tears in your eyes. How about you, Jalen? Um, so I don't really have much affinity for MMOs in general. I have like, I I know myself pretty well. Where I like, I have an addictive personality, mm. so I try not to uh, play things that. I feel like I would become addicted to. Mm. Valid. Although, what made me want to start, like I wanted to start for years and years because I heard how good the story is and like I'm, I primarily play single player games. Like I am a JRPG head, um, other RPGs as well. I had a, had a friend who, uh, who was playing this and then they were just like, oh, you can kind of start whenever. And then I saw the fishing and I was like, <laughs> I saw them go ocean fishing specifically. <laughs> and I was like, I am making them, I am going to, uh, what is it? The, the mock station. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. It took, took me like 30 minutes to set up my account. Oh my God. <laughs> and I had my, that is and I had my free trial. <laughs> I, w- I was so fresh into MMOs that like, even just playing with a mouse and keyboard was kind of uncomfortable for me at first. Cause it, yes. like, even now I feel like I will slip up on my keys and like, I'll be running forward mm-hmm. instead of, you know, attacking oh. the enemy or whatever. <laughs> um, Fair. Yeah. But, like when I first started, 
I had this weird like Frankenstein style of playing where I would play with a with a controller. I would use that to move and then I would use like mm-hmm. the mouse to like target stuff and then like click on That's not that weird actually. I feel like that's not that weird. You know? It'd be tough in high end rating, but it's definitely doable. I can yeah, see I can mm-hmm. see that. Being I do doable. both. I simply cannot fathom playing with a controller, though. I know oh, that people so love it. I have a twelve key mouse, and that does it for me. Same. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that, that's the great solution. Yes, I I'm big ups to people who play with controller. If y'all play with controller, y'all are powerful. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I've <laughs> seen I've seen the inputs. The inputs are actually really really uh good. Yeah. For, I think everything but healing is probably what I'd say as a mm. as a healer. Main. I, um, I'm, but, I'm an astrologian main, and I I do savage rating on a controller. Oh, you're an astrologian <laughs> okay. main. I fucking see, love astrology see, I know people, so see, much. See, I know people Same. like that, and I'm just like, <laughs> like mm, mm, mm. I'm scared of y'all, but also <laughs> you're right? that is y'all so are cool. So powerful, <laughs> so powerful. <laughs> I have a, I, I kind of cheat a little bit though. My controller has four paddles on the back and I assign them to the D pad so I can keep using my left Smart. stick and move around. Well, I, yeah, I can just go up and down the, the, the party list with soft mm-hmm. targeting on my, my back buttons while I'm running around avoiding mechanics and handing out cards and stuff. Very, very good solution. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll I go have... back to controller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, controller is <laughs> That's like absolutely maybe, valid. Maybe I'm just I'll scared. Try of... it. I'm just scared of playing great. with it because I'm so used it's, to uh, mouse and keyboard scary, now. Yeah. I also just like lose yeah. my cursor in the screen, like amidst all the like flashing you know, and particle yeah. effects. Like that. That's that tough. is fair. <laughs> one of the first things one of my friends who had been playing the game before told me is, "You're gonna want to limit the effects. <laughs> <laughs> You're yep. gonna want to limit yep. the party effects, effects immediately. <laughs> party effects. You gotta you gotta limit that shit because it will. It's because she." also has ADHD. So it's like it we were like the Spider-Man meme of like point point point. Yes. <laughs> she helped me out kind of like figure out a way to like make it work for me. <laughs> make the UI work for me, which is great. But what I wanted I wanted to circle back to like first impressions and playing like the game and everything because <laughs> I have something that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> when I first started playing Final Fantasy XIV, the names were a little hard for me sometimes. <laughs> Did you start in Limsa? Uh, oh no, no, Lim- no, no, the the like place names were fine, but the character names because Alphano was Alphanod, <laughs> Alphanod. <laughs> Urianje was Urian Anger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then like you know what I, I I'm not mad at it because fair I, I sounded it I spelled I said it as it was spelled and I'm not mad at me for that there was an attempt there <laughs> I still call the um the person who gives you like a majority of the quest when you start off in Gridania um I think I still call oh. her like Mama Mion oh yeah uh, Mama yeah, Mion yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah yeah <laughs> That's um that you know that's also a very very wide leap here but that's also <laughs> um a monster in Scooby Doo <laughs> Is it? That's also yes, Mama Mion. <laughs> Like that's probably there's probably something locked in my I've watched 50 Scooby Doo movies like you can't. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that because honestly uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up. That Mama Mion. Familiar. Um, also, thank you, Drawfee, because that's how I how I knew. <laughs> thank you. There's an episode of that. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. So Alize was all state for me. <laughs> Those are the nicknames that I got for them. So yeah, um, <laughs> Alize was all state. Uh, Alphano was <laughs> Alpinod because I was. It was really funny to me. Okay. <laughs> um, Thancred was Thancred. This is Thancred. What was Fuck, this is so embarrassing because now I don't remember <laughs> names. I'm blanking. I promise I played the game. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the names were a little hard for me. <laughs> but I've gotten better. I've learned. I've learned them. <laughs> They're important. The twins 
obviously no spoilers, but the twins. They're just the twins. My children. My children. My children. I love them. They're wonderful impressions. Yes. Must be protected <laughs> exactly. At all Every time. <laughs> I want to hear about y'all's characters. Um, you know, what their yeah. name and class are. And if it is like the same character that you started with. We should send in screenshots too. Maybe. Yeah. We can do that. flash. Yeah. You want to start with mine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, my character's name is Elizabeth LeBeau. She's an Ellison, um, Wildwood Ellison. Uh, I have some screenshots here. Hang on. I- I'm an astrologian main, like I mentioned before. Uh, I used to be a tank main. I did paladin primarily, but um, <clears throat> got really into healing because my one of my raid statics really needed a healer for um, this tier and couldn't find like a solid, consistent healer. So like, you know what? I'll pick up regen healing. Let me try White Mage. I'm like, ah, White Mage is cool, but it's kind of boring. And so I was like, let me try Astrologian. And I'm like, oh, this is this is fun. This is a treat. <laughs> they, have, they have a burst window. They have all sorts of stuff going on. Um, I'm really a big fan. So, yeah. Is it the is that the character that you started with? Oh yeah. Um, technically yes. I just have fantasia so many times. I don't remember what I was originally. <laughs> that is incredibly valid. Yes. <laughs> so my character, uh, her name's Samara Devon. Um, yeah. She is a v- she, a Viera. Um, has has some like I have some backstory for her in regards to FF12 because the Rava clan, um, which. Very, very happy that uh, evilly stuff was added. But um, right now I raid on White Mage and flex on Sage. I started off <laughs> as a bard and I kind of I kind of oh. miss ranged fizz. I play every role kind of now, but I mostly heal um, in endgame stuff. I tank sometimes, but mostly heal. So the first time that I started playing, I picked a, a tall... A tall blue woman. I like naming my character silly things and like D and D and and stuff. So I named her Ursa Strong Punch because yeah. I, <laughs> I nice. wanted her to be big and be good at punching. Um, Very good. <laughs> Except I picked the the Lancer class because uh, I didn't know what a pugilist was. So um, you know, what? <laughs> fair and valid. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's what I started off as the character I play now um because i made the mistake of buying the full game on that first account and then not touching it for months and so now i can't use like the the you know free trial to progress in the story so now i am playing as a very tiny cat girl uh who's named (laughs) faye catradora oh and i started with marauder because i i love like the juxtaposition between like small cat giant axe yes. like that makes me very happy oh yeah hell yes i i am obsessed with the the bunny folk they are so cute um the vera yes wait the tiny the tiny bunny or like the vera you got i feel like you gotta make the bunnies tall Okay, okay, okay. So wait, no, you haven't got never mind. Never mind, forget I said anything. I can't I can't <laughs> play as them yet, but <laughs> But I have seen friends play as them, and they're they're great. Yes, yeah, they yeah. are wonderful. Truly. Very tall too. I love a Vera. Yep. I'm max height. Um, I can go. Uh, so I said a little bit before that I started my very very first character was a row. Um, however, I didn't vibe with the row quite as much, so I got like up until like level five, and I'm like. No, I must start over because I didn't realize <laughs> that I can Fantasia. Um, and I also didn't want to waste a Fantasia, I guess. That was probably a good idea, uh, like super early on. So um, I deleted that character, or I think I still have them. But then I became a Vera um, named Maeve Terran. And uh, from there, I actually went to Vera, then Hure which is the humans in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and then from here, I went to what I am now, which is an Aura, which is the lizard-esque type race. Would you say they're lizards? Or like 
Not dragons. Yeah, yeah they're... I-, I call them lizards, but some people prefer dragon. Mm, okay, okay, some okay, people okay. call them fish. I, you <laughs> fish. know what? I don't know if they're quite fish. Some they're not, I feel but like it's really the, funny. The blue, the blue row are more fish-like. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like some, they're, well, they're like aquatic, not aquatic, but <laughs> they feel more aquatic than, um. Now that I actually think about it, aren't there some Ara under the sea in, um, Stormblood? Um, uh, I, I, I don't think they're so. Ara. Those, I don't think they're Ara. There's though, Ara right? there too. There's some Ara down there. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, I am the, one. the, the Ara with the dark fins because there's like the dark fin ara oh, and then yeah, there's yeah. a light fin ara and i don't remember mm-hmm. their names i'm so sorry i think, I think the difference is and uh yeah and i forget the other one but i am as tall as an aura can be which is not very <laughs> well the the, <laughs> yeah. the feminine aura i will say one thing i don't like about final fantasy 14 is how gendered the 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 mm-hmm. races are because mm-hmm. i want to be a tall aura like the mask aura are okay yeah. <laughs> like, can the i have sexual this? dimorphism i think is is what they were yes. going for with that particular that particular race yeah and then there's the row which are the the mask row are incredibly wide <laughs> they're the widest mm-hmm. ones <laughs> they're very wide um but we love that for them um I don't know. Just I one thing I can say about most MMOs or just most games is you don't have to make them gendered. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, exactly. it's really unnecessary. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I love my aura. I think that is like if I could make her taller, I would. <laughs> that is like the one quip I have in my head. Mm-hmm. In my head, they are very tall. <laughs> They're as tall as my Vera was, um, but. I love, uh, I love, uh, my friend, um, and I kind of have like, um, interconnecting backstories between her, um, aura and my aura. And, um, I've done some art of them. That's not like fully finished, but I love them a lot. Um, the only races that I haven't played are, uh, the Elzin, the, Mikote, which are the cat people, and the uh, <laughs> oh, Lalafels. Lalafell, the fucking Lalafells. I'm like, why? How could I forget a fucking? I'm sorry. That that's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me on this podcast today. <laughs> I love how they look, but I do not want to play a Lalafell. <laughs> that's fair. They have the best emotes. Yeah, though. their animations, they do. Their they animations are so do. good. Like when they sit, they're little feeties <laughs> and they like sway to the side. It's so cute. I love whenever I'm in like a dungeon with a Lala because they could be the tiniest little motherfuckers, but they punch hard. <laughs> <laughs> they they pack the one of the biggest punches and I love that for them. Um nothing better than a Lala felt tank. Oh, that is oh, just kiss. Very good. <laughs> um but yeah, uh the character creation in Final Fantasy XIV is wonderful. There are some things that are a little hacking, but I think uh, one thing that really uh, did sit well with me was uh, I was able to <laughs> be black, which is very fun in mm. a new concept nowadays in Final, and not Final Fantasy games, but in MMOs. It's it's nice. It was nice. And I think coming from like games like Terra and uh, Black Desert and um, Blade and Soul, where there are customers, they, they not to say that they didn't, it was rare, but I know something about this clicked more with me. It's mm-hmm. not the best. There is room for improvement, but mm-hmm. uh, I enjoyed it and uh, it stuck. So there's that. <laughs> That's something I can't say for the other ones. I, I am kind of curious because I've heard from a couple of folks who are into the game that they have gotten like slightly better about um, gender rep when it comes to clothing specifically, like mm-hmm. yes. Yes. new events. I'll, I'll just say this very briefly because I'm sure Lizzie can talk about this too. Because uh, Lizzie had mentioned the 2B booty. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that was that was for a moment, wasn't it? Very like not briefly, but it was at first only for the fem bodies, right? Just not even just a two B booty, but like 
the entire sets. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but I don't particularly remember it. Being they also nerfed it, it probably <laughs> and was. then brought it back. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they did. Okay. Yeah, they nerfed it and then brought it back because people were like, excuse me, this is what kept me going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what brought me back. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it has gotten better. The, the gendered clothing. Mm-hmm. I think they've even like gone back and retroactively like made some of the older armor mm-hmm. um, wearable by both or where we buy all specifically like mog station glamours mm-hmm. they used to be extremely gender locked and pretty much weird. across the board all of them were gender locked mm-hmm. and mm. uh they've been slowly going through and their plan is to make all the mog station clothes not gender locked eventually they're doing it bit by Which bit because great. they have to manually rig the clothes and everything and animations on on all these characters and apparently it's a major hassle which is why they haven't mm. Yeah. Being able to just blanket do it. There's no switch they can hit. It's mm-hmm. all one right, by one. Because I'm sure you have to mess with like the individual skeletons and mm-hmm. accommodate and the meshes. For... And, you know. It is absolutely a lot of a lot of labor, and it's good I'm that they're, they're doing that they're it. They're trying to, yeah, they're trying to go back and uh, work on it. If I could add on to your point in regards to like the character creation specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, like they are, yeah. they are getting better. But yes. they are starting to get outpaced by like new MMOs, like things like mm-hmm. um, what's what's that one game that came out? Lost uh, Ark. That's like yes. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say the Diablo. Uh, yep. like, and they're like getting outpaced by games like that, and it's like I I still want them to improve more, and 100%. also like specifically with body types too is like yeah. I have a lot of friends who decided I don't see myself in my character, so I can't really play this game the way that other people might and i'm just like that's 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 a that's like a really valid criticism it's like oh if you want to play a a big man you have to be a row but what if i want to be what if i want to be like look look what if i want to be a big lalafo basically yeah Yeah, what if i want to be a big male vera (laughs) you know like exactly i want to be sick vera is just my hope is that they've so they've ta- been talking about overhauling all the graphics and they're doing it bit by bit. Yes. Start with mm-hmm. shaders primarily and some of the textures. And mm-hmm. my hope is that eventually they do what pretty much every other long running MMO has done in the past, which is a complete overhaul of the character models for player characters. I and really usually when MMOs do that, they add a plethora of customization options. I'm hoping for for things like interchangeable aura horn styles yep. lengths and sizes oh, as well as era. body types maybe some sliders for like facial features as well yes. rather than just the locked individual ones so I, I hope they do that things being locked to like faces like mm. like if if you want to have a beard as a man you have to like be an old man <laughs> for something right or like they're like certain horn types are set to certain faces mm-hmm. On one hand, I get them wanting certain races to have certain features. Like the Vera have those bunny noses, right? Which, Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. But some things you really don't need to be set to. I'm personally of the mind with your character. You should be able to, like, pick and choose what you want from a race in regards to, like, if you, if you want a mixed uh, warrior of light, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want a Viera. Yes! Rogan. Oh, my God. Like, I think that would be very cool. Absolutely. Because mm-hmm. it makes sense. That's realistic. <laughs> That's realistic. Um, mm-hmm. and, and just to also kind of tack on to the end of that, for anyone listening, it is completely, completely okay to be critical of a game that you love. Oh, for sure. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Just to reiterate that, I want to drive that home. It is incredibly okay to be critical of something that you love. I love Final Fantasy XIV. I'm pretty sure we all do, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and because we love it so much, we want it to be better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because so, yeah, if, if you don't that's have all. those conversations, then like nothing changes. Because I was like, truly. <laughs> There was some backlash with Final Fantasy 16 recently for like those mm-hmm. very same mm-hmm. reasons. The valid reasons, yeah. You know? Because they were like, we want this story to be rooted in like European medieval art or whatever. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that everybody has to be white. Like that's real weird. Like, yeah. Because it's like, I don't know if they know this, but there are black people in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Honestly, I had a I'd, yes. I'd be so fine if like the, um, 
that like big paragraph in response to the question. I didn't need all that. You could have just said either. we didn't have any. Yeah. 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 You just say that that the diversity wasn't the focus, and then mm-hmm. move on. Ooh. But he, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I would have been totally really. Fine. He made it way worse than it yes. had to be. I was so incredibly disappointed with Yoshi P. Like it yeah. hurt. That hurt. That hurt to be mm-hmm. told that you and your people who look like you do not fit in with their idea of what a fantasy looks like. Because if your mm-hmm. fantasy includes no black people or no people of color. What does that say about you? If that's your idea well, of fantasy. Think, well, I think it's the I think it's the main cast thing. There's there's definitely gonna mm. be like darker skin characters, but there will be like relegated to like minor roles and maybe just Ain't NPCs. Ain't that just the way? At the same time, it's like the, okay. <laughs> it's like I, oh. I wouldn't be mad if somebody called him a racist if they read that. But yeah, I don't I don't think he is. But yeah, I I, I guess I say that. that all to say I don't think he's a racist either. But like it just. It did hurt. <laughs> it did mm-hmm. hurt a yeah. little bit. It, it's like going too far to explain your fuck up instead of just saying like, oh, no, I fucked up. Well, that mm-hmm. argument that he like gave is actually Bullshit. rooted in white supremacy. So mm-hmm. it's like it is. He, it's not like a thing. Of, I, I do think he's like kind of ignorant of that mm. specifically, yeah. but like. He shouldn't be using that argument, even if it's something given to him. Yeah. Like, by, Especially like, uh, when you can hire people, like you can hire cons- people to consult with, is what I'm trying to say. Absolutely. Like, it's not yeah. like you can't even just do a Google search. <laughs> you know? Especially if you have a, like, such I a feel wide like they, Western you audience. You I think know? it's actually yes. very possible a consultant gave that to him to say <laughs> and thought it was like appropriate Ooh. because of uh, Kind of, of of where like gaming audiences are wh- and what gaming has been okay with for a, a while. Yeah, just because Which, it's okay uh, in the moment doesn't mean it's actually okay, guys. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't mean that it's actually good for you to do. That's actually life words right there. <laughs> Is Yoshi P still working on on fourteen, or did he shift over to to focus on he, like mainline? Titles? I think he still is right. He He's is. doing both. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's working his ass off. <laughs> yeah, Mm-mm-mm. he's gonna be doing like a three to six hour presentation in what twelve hours mm. or less? Wait, really? Eight hours? It's a nine hours? It's a live letter presentation for six point three. Yeah, it's a live letter. Yeah, yeah. live letter with the producer. Yeah, it's live letter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're they're covering six point uh, six point three, which will be out in January. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have to get on it. <laughs> I have to. I was thinking about resubbing back in, uh, not back in, in January because December has been a lot. Actually, not just December, <laughs> like the Burr months as November, you know, mm. September, November, December have been. Uh, also, October. Did I forget October? All of them. <laughs> you did, These but past... I was just gonna let you roll with it. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. <laughs> The Burr months, all of them, um, they've been very hectic and I just couldn't justify spending, sinking so much time mm. <laughs> in Final Fantasy XIV. Mm-hmm. But um, I miss it. I miss playing it and I miss playing with friends and it does suck. One thing I will say about playing it so hard with friends, it does suck when those friends don't play as much as they used to, which is understandable, obviously. Mm-hmm. But that's one downside to an MMO um, if you get like really attached to like a certain group. Um, And I know that that's also an aspect that some people aren't aren't really like into is that need to play with someone else. Um, Even if you don't have to, because you don't technically need to. Yeah. In between patches, people definitely fall off and take breaks and Mm. stuff and that's actually something I appreciate that Yoshi P did say in an interview. I, something I appreciate he said was that, you know, like a long time ago was if you feel like you're, uh, you don't have anything else to do in the game, take a break, play something else, unsubscribe. Mm. <laughs> they don't want you to burn out oh, on yeah. something you, lo- or you love. You know, 100%. Learn that hate it. That's what I do love. Even if it's a subscription model, it's not necessary to subscribe for an entire year. It is definitely not necessary. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you, you can, can do a couple months or one every month. Two years. Or, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. New expansion every two years at the end of the year. And you can just mm-hmm. do that for a month if you wanted. You could finish a new expansion and all the associated patch quests in a month. You know? If you really, um, if you really tried. <laughs> yeah. If you really <laughs> yeah. no life if that you played shit a lot maybe. during that month for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's great. But I'm I stick around for the raids and I'm I'm here mm-hmm. year long doing high end content. Same. The sto- again, we we talked about this before. The story is also very good. <laughs> <laughs> ARR was rough. I'm going to say mm-hmm. ARR was a little rough because Balance. this was they have they already like updated it? I can't remember. If they like, because I know they like went back and kind of like made a little, made it a little more streamlined. I don't know. They they edited something. Uh, I believe in a uh, in five point oh. I think they did. That. I think they cut some they... stuff or like combined. There was like one boss I was fighting who like used to have a whole other phase or something. And okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Because that I think you're. Oh, they, I think you're talking about uh the last the last duties of ARR, right? Yeah. Yeah. They they've like change that i think like right before you got there Mm -hmm. so Mm. you got you got like the new um and i i probably would say improved uh (laughs) version of because like like, are you talking about um, yeah yeah, the main stories oh my fucking god before they were unbearable (laughs) (laughs) i think my friend was telling me that it was like all one like giant slog like to get through the final yes. trial and now they've like 40 minutes with unskippable cutscenes. I will say but they you were just hilarious. Be able to skip them. They were hilarious. Like, yeah. so it was a meme. It was an entire meme Tell of me being like, what anime are y'all watching? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, awful. It's so awful. It's like, what anime are y'all watching while we wait for these cutscenes? Because you the, <laughs> yeah. for, again, for anybody who is not familiar, the um I'm sure my lovely guests and friends here will be able to like supply more context but the main story uh uh daily scenario right it took like for there's two of them that you would get um praetorium Mm -hmm. and castrum right yep castrum and then one was like 45 minutes and the other was like longer Mm -hmm. like genuinely 45 minutes give or take Mm -hmm. you could not skip the cutscenes at all period yep you could not skip it. <laughs> I will also say when they were eight man, they were like oh it was a really bad God. player experience just because of oh, like yeah. how many people oh just AFK God. or like not truly. Um, <laughs> it was not always a chore. <laughs> Literally a chore. The worst thing is is that you got the most shit from it though. <laughs> Well, that's for experience, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like experience and then like um poetics and, right now I'm and doing whatnot. Like, I'm doing like a one MSQ roulette a day for the mm. like Moogle Tome event thing oh, that they the have going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good and I'm just luck. like, <laughs> it is better now though. It's no more than twenty minutes now yeah. for each of those dudes. And mm. if you get Porta Decumana, it's like ten minutes because it's yeah. a trial. <laughs> yeah, that that one just doesn't give great rewards, unfortunately. It's still okay because it's MSQ and they scale yeah. up depending on how high your level is, but <laughs> yeah, I just remember being in the longer ones. People were like, "Yeah, so like, what are y'all, what are y'all doing? <laughs> y'all watching an anime? What, what episode you're watching? You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, oh, I'm knitting, <laughs> like, you know, mm-hmm. it's just stuff like that. Um, and that's a really like cool aspect of the community. It's just like we we know what we're getting mm-hmm. into. <laughs> like, we know it's all right. <laughs> Um, but I'm glad that they, 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 they saw that it was an issue and they fixed it, which is something I will say Final Fantasy 14 does pretty decently. Would y'all agree? Yeah. They, they do try. Oh, yeah. They definitely try. They like mm-hmm. actually really kind of like pay changes. attention to the community. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they also play their own game extensively. Mm. Yoshi mm. P is a very hardcore black mage. Um, and uh, even Soken, the the composer, plays as well, and, and said in an interview once he wanted to have the music be oh. fun to listen to over and over again because you'll be repeating these <laughs> these duties and stuff. So he wanted to make it something he'd want to listen to over and over. And again. they did like, a that's great such a great job. approach to creating that. <laughs> the music in Final <laughs> oh, Fantasy yeah. 14 is iconic. My f- okay, I want to know what y'all's favorite song is. I, I'm genuinely very curious. Speaking of music and the composer. It's a hard question. I have one off the top of my head solely because it's the one that I always go and like think back on. But there are many for me. The yeah. Twinning. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's my like, God. That's like really good. It's so good. Genuinely very good. 
my favorite Soken song because my favorite song is a uh, is Ra- Ra- or Wrath of the Icons, which is actually mm-hmm. a, the composer of like all the other Final Fantasies, uh, Uematsu. They actually mm-hmm. made that song because it's a 1.0. Like they bring they bring that back from a uh, from that. My favorite Soken song is probably Brute Justice, which is uh, <laughs> the Alexander raids. The, oh uh, yeah, those are good too. The mini. Oh, is that like anime raids. sounding? Yes, like... that's like yeah. the um, that's the that's the super mecha robot thing. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, fight yeah, is yeah. so fun <laughs> with the with the kids screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a it's such a good song. <laughs> the the music is so good. Like ninety nine percent, I vibe with the music of what I'm in. Like um oh. My God. This isn't in a dungeon, but the, um, Lahi. <laughs> Do you know what oh. I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Lahi's amazing. Lahi. Art. So- art. <laughs> High art. It It is incredible art. The highest of art forms. I, I think my favorite is from Shadowbringers 2, though. It's um To the Edge from the 5.3 trial. Oh, it's, this song is so um, good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it has the same melody as the... Okay, I don't want to give spoilers. Mm-hmm. As, um, oh, dude. <laughs> Shadowbringers might be one of my favorites. It just... Mm-hmm. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it made me, like, emotional. I'm not obviously not going to spoil it, but it made me emotional. <laughs> like, legitimately. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, for sure. The music in that expansion oh my is God. wildly emotional. Well, Soken was battling cancer at the time. He wrote To the Edge from the oh, hospital. That makes me, that, the heart. And if you listen to the lyrics, it's like, oh, this is somebody who was not sure if this would be his last mm. music or not. <laughs> like, he really wanted my to go out with heart. the band. <laughs> and he, and he has it, I'm getting choked up thinking so. about it. It's so good. Yeah, it's I really want to do that one day. Hopefully we could like get together and like just like e- either for a, a podcast episode or just like in general, just watch the the trailers from ARR to and Walker or I, by the time actually we did that do super it. Recently with some friends. Yeah, it's fun. I was going to say either from ARR to in Walkers or whatever we actually can get to do that. <laughs> whatever expansion is out then. I don't know. It might not even be in Walkers. It might be something new. Yeah. I will also December say December 2023. There's so much like ARR uh, or there's so much in Walker like uh, music that are like Liat motifs from uh, ARR in like in that trailer. Like there's like there's like three pieces of music that are like taken from AR. I think I did know that. Into uh, Endwalker and like they're like very important songs. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay. I did catch that because like I tend to do this often, which is I'll watch AR and then you know Heaven's Word and then Stormblood and then Shadowbringers. I'll watch them in order because I'm like, it's good, it's good, it's all good. I like this. It brings me the dopamine, <laughs> you know. But yeah, music good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so in 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 summary, in conclusion, music so good. I'm excited to get to the um, <laughs> near automata stuff eventually because I've heard that's, yeah. that's all incredible. Yeah, those it's are some fun so rides. fun and hard, but I'm also <laughs> like I think I I was very new. I this was one of the times where I like re emerged myself in the game. So like while it was me learning how to play the game again, I was also just jumping headfirst <laughs> into my mm-hmm. rates. And I'm like, <laughs> oh no! And then I was also healing. I was oh, healing yeah. and being yeah. new, not new to healing, but like re learning to heal Mm -hmm. it was a mess but i had so much fun i can't wait for you to get into it (laughs) yoko taro helped design those raids and apparently they were too hard initially after he worked on them and so they had to go back and like simplify them a little bit because like oh no 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 yoko taro made these too hard (laughs) i've never heard anything that i believe more than that like <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, so surprised there aren't any we'll like, uh, uh, like insta kill mechanics that are just oh yeah <laughs> oh that's so funny but yeah I, I think the things that I that I have heard that have contributed towards Final Fantasy XIV success the most are um, like Yoshi's <clears throat> guidance and just like the whole dedication of the team in general the story and like how willing they are to listen to to fan feedback because yes 
Because oh it is God. it is a completely different game. It, it feels like every time I hop back in, in like the best way. I also yeah. just like, I'm always learning stuff that I had no idea about, like, because I've never played an MMO before. So like, same, like I didn't know that same, there was same. certain like lore and or like types of play that was being done on specific servers. Like the first time that I got into it, uh, that friend was like, oh, you should join Fairy because that's where all the gays and the cosplayers are. So mm-hmm. like, that's cool. Yeah, that's where they are. <laughs> and then this most recent time, I, I didn't have anybody to tell me like, oh, jump in this world. So I picked uh, Gilgamesh because I was like, oh, I know that that story. Uh, and then that's like the <laughs> reference. <right? laughs> and then that's like the the like hardcore like dungeons and definitely like oh. not my style oh. of play. Oh no, I didn't know no. that either. The good news <laughs> is if you want to visit another another world mm-hmm. or another data center, it's really easy as long as it's like same region. So you can go to any data center in any world in North America, mm-hmm. if you're in North America. Um, but uh, also like if you're if you're queuing for random dungeons and trials and raids, not, not using Party Finder, but just queuing with Duty Finder, then uh, you'll be getting people from all over your data center. So mm-hmm. I believe Gilgamesh is on Ether. So you'll get people from Fairy in okay. there too. Very cool. Yeah, I have I've spent a lot of time in uh, other data centers because because I think I was hanging out with you and, and Irene mm-hmm. and, and y'all's. Yeah. Um, it's just fun. I think it's a neat game and, and I'm yeah. like super ready to hop into into more of it. And oh, my God, it's just <laughs> so good. Yeah. Also, this entire like podcast session has really made me want to resubscribe. <laughs> I just want to say, if y'all are ever looking for people I love to, the game to so much. run content with, let me know. I'm I'm usually around yeah. and available. So, and also just to say, and I'm sure I've said this before in in this exact episode, is that if anyone is listening and they really want to get into, or like they were thinking about getting into Final Fantasy fourteen. The community is genuinely incredibly nice. Of course, with that being said, there will always be a couple outliers with anything, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Don't let that discourage you. Um, and like Lizzie said, you have like a little sprout on your head whenever you're a new person, but you also get um, a variation of that sprout when you are a returning player. Mm-hmm. If you, even if you're not brand new and you might need a little bit of time to like reorientate yourself within the game, people are genuinely pretty, mm-hmm. pretty good about it. They're not going to be like, oh, you were playing before. How could you <laughs> heal so shitty? There are reasons that Final Fantasy has won numerous like best community awards. Like I think it, it most recently yes, got it. Very yeah. recently. I will say yep. as well, it is very okay to say uh, like, hey, I'm new to this or it's been a <laughs> yes, while since I've been- it's appreciated. It's been, it's yeah, been yeah. a while <laughs> since I've like played first time in a mm-hmm. in a while, so sorry. Normally people are gonna be very like chill mm-hmm. about that. Just like, yeah. oh, it's okay. Others will adjust for you mm-hmm. and make sure you have a good time, especially if you're a sprout yes. and you're new yep. to it. They, everyone wants to make sure you have mm-hmm. a good time. Yes. Also, do you do we want to talk about like <laughs> unspoken rules of Final Fantasy fourteen? I think that could be fun. One thing that came to mind as we were talking about sprouts is let the sp- don't start until the sprout has finished their cutscene. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't you that dare <laughs> start. Yeah, if you're a new player <laughs> joining the game and you have cutscenes in a dungeon or a trial or something like. People will wait for you. They're not going to pull without mm-hmm. you. They're not going to generally. Yes. Occasionally, some Gen- people will, yeah, okay, but usually there'll be someone there to admonish them, and then they'll go, "Oh shoot, I'm sorry, <laughs> my bad." <laughs> yeah. You know, usually it's an accident, or they just didn't notice someone was in a cutscene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are always those outliers, but for the most part, people will wait for you. Mm-hmm. Um, also, just like if you are new, it is just good practice to be like, "Hey, you know, like." Jalen said, I've never, you know, done this dungeon before or I haven't done this in a while or just like a, hey, (laughs) this is what to expect, especially if you are tanking and you're new. It's like when you're tanking or healing, it's like usually good to just express the, the know, number of times I have forgotten to for... turn on my aggro and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's understandable. It 
especially when I was healing again for the first mm. time in forever, I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, I, I definitely appreciate like a gentle like, oh, is your thing is your thing on instead of just like you know, yelling at me. Oh no, I was talking about more for me being healers as in like, I'm new to, mm. I haven't healed in forever. Please don't hate me if I forget. <laughs> you mm. know? Like, I'm trying. There's a lot of, of like mechanics that layer on top of each other that, that I feel like if you were just casually playing, you might not know. Like, I, I didn't know that I had area... Yeah of effect attacks that that stacked like as I was leveling up I would try mm. to like choose which ones I liked and then I had a friend who was like oh by the way like you can do this mm-hmm. and that'll help like draw enemies towards oh. you and away from us it's like oh bless that's that friend very good. okay yes <laughs> I had a friend like that too who was just like hey I noticed that you're you know you might not be using this mm-hmm. action mm-hmm. Yeah. and she like described it to me because i was struggling <laughs> yeah there's definitely a gentle way of i was struggling that can help me yes mm-hmm. it it's so nice like especially if you can if you can find like a person if you don't have a friend that plays final fantasy 14 that's okay there are a plethora mm-hmm. of youtube videos like mm-hmm. a, like an in, mini, but it is so nice having a friend who does know how to play Final Fantasy oh, fourteen. Sure. You can be like, "Hey, I don't know how to play this class, <laughs> but I really want to." How, but like, it's one thing of knowing how to like what your your things do, but then there's the other of like knowing the best way to like utilize mm. them. That's a yeah. completely different thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, optimal play is is but what i like about the game is like doing the story stuff you can you can go for optimal play but you can just do your rotations on like yeah. a priority system and like it can, you don't have to be the best of the best yep. to clear the story content that's you know? me <laughs> <laughs> i i live by that one <laughs> yep like it's it's totally fine to like not be a <laughs> not be a professional at the, at the role you yeah. play play how you want to play yeah mm-hmm. have I, fun I will with say, it a common misconception a lot of people have coming to this game from other MMOs is that they don't realize every skill, every weapon skill, every ability that you get on a class is important. Mm-hmm. A lot of people pick and choose mm. and be like, I don't really need this necessarily or I don't like this doesn't seem as efficient, but everything should be used in opti- in quote unquote optimal yes. play. Um, and so a lot of people will just pull stuff off their tool, their their hot bars. That like, was me. Know, keep it all there. You're going <laughs> to want it. Yeah. That was me too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Especially like when they sound like similar enough, where it's like, here is an attack yeah. that does a cone of damage. It's like, yeah, of course I want the one that does more damage, like, and it's easier to get to. But no, you have to use them in sequential order, and it'll be even yep. better. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there are some that you have to have specific positions on too, like a uh, monk or a uh, samurai. You have like your positionals, and that that's a whole that's all. I, I still shit. have not figured out how what <laughs> what kind of stuff my action interrupt like can actually. <laughs> I think it's like it, it has like an indication, right? Yes, right. Any, yeah. Any, any cast bar of if you have something targeted and they start casting a spell or using an action, and it's blinking, it's flashing. Mm-hmm. You can you can use their interrupt on that interject from tanks as well as um, head graze from ranged physical can interrupt mm-hmm. that. Oh, yeah. I love I love when people explain that to me because I'm like, I'll probably ask again because I will never remember. Uh, there's so much to keep track of. Yeah. It's honestly it is, a lot. It's, but it's yeah. so fun. Mm-hmm. The thing is, Final Fantasy makes it fun to learn a new class because you can literally play any class. The thing is, you can play any fucking class that you want to. Um, and that's great. What I do wish we could also do is I wish it they made it easier to have other characters <laughs> without having to start the entire game over. Yeah, and yeah, car- carrying sucks. over carrying over things as well, like uh, mm-hmm. like whether it's just glams like that you paid for, <laughs> and not being restricted to one character. Um, yes, or uh, like mounts 100%. or things like uh, things like that could like some mounts are like. 
character locked but i think aren't there some that are not character locked but the fact that there are character locked ones is the problem i I kind of i kind of mean with like things that are like hard achievements like Mm -hmm. like Mm. i wouldn't want to grind like something that took me 200 hours on a a second character Mm. right like the main story for example is a a big one yeah Um, absolutely not i have a second character i raid on because i'm in two raid statics so I, I have another character I went, I took through the main story. I did story skip a good chunk of it because I was like, you know what? I can't do the rest of this. I need <laughs> yep. to skip this and join the I went, static. I went, from so. heaven, I went from Heavensward to to the end of, or basically the beginning of Endwalker. I was just like, I have to just. Same. That's that's the other thing. You can like, you can, was a story skip, right? You can like yeah. pay to like skip that shit, which. You I can. Tend, I, I tend recommend that recommend for alts it. like what we did. <laughs> Yeah, I don't recommend that for new players at all. Like mainly. Oh because yeah, no, that's what I was gonna say. Not yeah. for new players. This not is not for y'all. Not because of the story, <laughs> and it's all connected. But like, mm-hmm. they introduce combat mechanics slowly over time, and yep. they all, like yeah. you mentioned earlier, they build up off of each other. And it's really important yes. to get that in that order because I know people who have story skipped and jumped into like savage Class content skip yeah. too. Had like the like no idea what they were doing. Yes, and it's really the, rough. Yeah. Like, I, I understand when people, like, buy, uh, I don't know what they're called, but it's, like, you can skip the progression of your class and just yep, get to the highest, this right? Is a class skip Which I point. also do not recommend for new players because you no. will not know a, a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. That's more for people who do end up getting another character and who have already played the game and they just want to have a separate character, like, on a different whatever, like, a different mm-hmm. region. I, I regret the three skips I got because... I don't know how to play those jobs well <laughs> at all, oh, no. especially, especially at Which lower levels, get? especially at like lower levels. Like I, it was Monk, um, Black Mage, and uh, I think Ninja. It was just the ones that I had to go oh, from 1 Ninja. to 90, where I'm just like, I'm not going from 1 to 90 again. <laughs> <laughs> Although I know how to play Monk at 90 um, pretty well because mm. that's the melee that I chose because I, I just like Monk. It's, it's, a fun, it's a fun job. <laughs> what is your favorite memory associated with the game? It could be it could be either like story specific or, you know, just like hanging out with friends or it's kind of like an ongoing memory is that I play. This is one of the main games that I play with my partner and they're away in school oh. most of the year in grad school. And we don't have a lot of ways to connect because we're physically apart for most of the year. So this is like like they're in my raid static and one of my raid statics. And um, we raid every weekend and play this game a lot. And it's a great way for us to connect. So it's like an ongoing memory is like all the experiences I've gotten to share with them in this game has been really extremely meaningful it's, to me. It's actually really fun to yeah. do like dates in Final Fantasy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah you can get married. Yeah, <laughs> you can have a literal wedding. I, I have two friends who are long distance uh partners and they got married in game and they had like they invited all their friends who had the full versions and uh-huh. they streamed it so that like people who were on the trial could still watch and it's just very oh, sweet so it's very sweet. sweet yeah that is really sweet <laughs> um mine is <laughs> i have a lot of moments that like are just very memorable for me but um in short it took me a. I took a unexpected break from Final Fantasy fourteen way like long ago, um, but I still had friends that were doing like savage raids and all that good shit. Right. Um, it took me a long time to get through uh, Shadowbringers, not because I didn't like it, because one that is my favorite expansion pack so far. I haven't finished Inwalker and I'm sure Inwalker will also be up there, but it took me a long time to get the Stormblood. Um, Shadowbringers, not Stormblood. Um, and my best memory is <laughs> when I did finish Shadowbringers and I was emotional and I was like legit crying. And then like I posted in our Discord the screenshot of like this, like the end. <laughs> And like the just like they uh they it was just very sweet because they were extremely excited. I was already emotional. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> they were like just cheering me on. It was just very sweet because I think I actually was in Discord streaming mm-hmm. it. I think yeah, like the in like the in like raven and everything. It was just very emotional. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm already I'm so I love this game so much. <laughs> it was very warm. I have very fond memories of this game. I'm already getting emotional thinking about me getting emotional about the game. <laughs> There's a lot of opportunity for comedy too, because like <laughs> when I started this new this new story. I was wandering around and I think some like hyena like creature uh, decided to attack me and ended up like <laughs> knocking me off a cliffside. And so my character <laughs> fell like 50 feet, landed between the cliff and a rock and uh, was just like unconscious oh. there. And I didn't pick to, you know, die. I put, I picked weight. So I was just like lying there and my friend was trying to find me and they couldn't oh. because I was just like, wedged in between this very specific part in a craft but i also could yeah. i was like still in the aggro yes. circle for that <laughs> hyena thing too it, i think yeah. so it wouldn't like let me just perish no like please come res me please <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> i don't know i love that game i love that game so much and even if i take like long breaks from it i will always come back i'll always come back to final fantasy 14. It's it it is one of my comfort games. I can say that confidently. I can find a lot of joy and warmth in it. And I always love seeing people get into it for the first time. So it's, it's a very good feeling. <laughs> it's like <laughs> join us. Join us. Uh yeah. I'm glad I'm glad uh you got to talk about it because I always love talking about that game. Even if I'm not the most like knowledgeable on like very specific combat elements or like lore elements, I don't know. I just like it. I think that's good enough. <laughs> yeah. I like how we had two like severe experts on Final Fantasy 14, and then you had mm -hmm. Faye and I just like the game's good. <laughs> it, game is good. I like it. <laughs> I, I can I can stop good there as game. well. I'll just say game is good. <laughs> Game good. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Period. That's it. I like my cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jalen, did you did you have something come to mind? Probably the beginning of playing this game in like a like like the first like hours of a uh, of playing it for the first oh. time and being kind of ena enamored with like the worlds because I really liked uh, the beginning of AR like like mm. the exploration how open it was. Like the zones, I wasn't doing any MSQ really until like I was like level thirty. <laughs> um, my friend was like, "Do you have a uh, Do you have Sestasha? Like the first dungeon?" I'm like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like level thirty, just doing side quests and running around like doing fates and it's so completely exciting. overpowered. <laughs> and like looking at the map and like, uh, which is really why I like a lot of ARR like maps specifically. Like I kind of I kind of want those maps back, <laughs> like in. In, in design, but um, I don't know. It, it's something that is like personal as well because I needed a, I needed an outlet while I was working at a job that I didn't like very much. So it was something oh, to it was something valid. to spend a lot of time in, and it gave me a lot of comfort when I needed it, and it still does. Uh, less so now because I'm kind of in a different place, but that's yeah. that, that's pro that's the the early hours I'd say. To somewhat like also like lay into that is I have a very, very quick one for me that kind of relates to what Jalen was saying is uh, I started playing Final Fantasy 14 again during like the earliest times of the pandemic. So playing with an entire group of friends who was also deep, deep, no lifing Final mm -hmm. Fantasy 14 was one of the best feelings. It was one of the best feelings having like a whole like discord server of people that you love and trust play a game with you it just feels it's different mm -hmm. and i think that also kind of like cemented my love for the game too is just the beginning feelings were very like firm and this is it this is the game mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. uh, it's some a, a little similar is uh, just warm feelings through the beginning <laughs> we have only scratched the surface in truly in an, <laughs> in an hour and truly. a half conclusion game good game game very good <laughs> game uh, 20 hours yet today <laughs> <laughs> wait do we oh my god do we want to add the the in bit <laughs> now <laughs> the if you would also like to have fond memories of final fantasy 14 <laughs> 
<laughs> you should check out. <laughs> did, <laughs> did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn <laughs> and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime? S- sign up and play. Play a game. Do thing. It'll make you gay. If you're it's not true. already, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> you got some questions that you need to answer. <laughs> is that, is there anything that y'all are excited about for next year? Oh, mm. yeah. Oh, yes. Boulder's Gate 3. <laughs> Finally being, like, released. I'm pretty sure it's 2023. Boulder's Gate 3. If you love Dungeons & Dragons, Boulder's Gate in general is very good it's literally almost a one-to-one um if not a one-to-one but Mm. it's great i am already fixated on hades too oh my god yes (gasps) oh my god yes please i I am i am (laughs) hopping on that uh alpha build as soon as i can Mm -hmm. you know what they knew exactly what they were doing with those character designs in both Hades and Hades 2. They knew who their target audience was. Okay. I really hope they haven't they have an alpha like they had with the the first Hades where it was like 2 years mm-hmm. of just like playing the game in development, which was so cool. I remember when the Bone Hydra Yay. was like the hardest boss in the game and then uh at release it was like, "Oh, this is this is kind of easy." <laughs> So I, I'm really curious to see how long the alpha will be because, like, I feel like they spent so long on Hades. Like, mm-hmm. it only makes sense to use a majority of that as, as the groundwork. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be as long. I think it's going to be, like, the game is kind of going to come out. And uh, alpha might be, like, six months, if that. I also, not even gameplay related. I can't wait to see the cost list. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> I really just cannot wait to see what they come up with is yes i know i know you're probably very excited for uh resident evil 4 as well uh <laughs> fuck yes i am god damn Ooh. got my fucking collector's edition on pre order <laughs> like uh, i'm gonna have my I boy i could feel the excitement <laughs> coming from Faye. i could feel that like <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm trying to think if there are any other games that i'm also like really like vibing for um no, but like when Leon like parried that chainsaw attack with his fucking Ooh. like mm-hmm. three inch knife, I'm like, I de- fuck, the game is going to be incredible. Oh. The gameplay looks so good like already. <laughs> like it looks like it's taking more survival <laughs> horror stuff, which is like, I'm just like, because my favorite ones are the survival horror Resident Evil games, mm-hmm. like the like one, two. Um, I like zero a whole lot. People don't like zero for whatever reason, but... <laughs> Um, it's the monkeys. They don't like the monkeys in that one. I don't know. That that game's fun. <laughs> that game is fun to me. I'm just excited to see Leon Same. again in a, in 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 just he looks, better graphics. I love he Leon. looks so tired and so traumatized in this version. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you? <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> After the how many re- iterations of Leon have we gotten? <laughs> <so far? laughs> How many Leons? I wouldn't know. I I enjoy watching people play Resident Evil. Um, Playing a Resident Evil game, um, I feel like would give me anxiety. (laughs) (laughs) But watching entertainment, yeah, highest entertainment. Hell yes, please. (laughs) I want to see the boy. Give me Leon. (laughs) Give me Leon. (laughs) Very good. Earthblade from from the folks who made Celeste looks rad. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year. I don't know. I, like, ugh, I watched the Game Awards and I like legitimately started crying when Kevin Conroy popped up on the Suicide Squad. Like, I was not excited about that game. I probably would have played oh. it, but like now I'm like I'm, I'm interested in it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We are finally getting that game. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep forgetting that it's coming out. I was so excited for Gotham Knights, and then. Oh I've my god! Just like mid. I was no, I was just about to say I got the night. Can we talk about how very quickly, <laughs> obviously, because I know we have another thing we have to do, right? But like, finally getting a Bat Fam game, and then it being like 
mid is very disappointing. <laughs> it seems like it was kind of rushed. I'm gonna honestly. play it though. I will still play yeah. it. No, I will. I will still put the hours in for sure. Cause I love, I love the Bat Fam. I love the Bat Kids a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, that's uh, good G- game. Game mid. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing carrying. <laughs> That game are Nightwing's ass cheeks. I was about to say the sound of Nightwing's ass cheeks clapping as he kicks ass. Yes. Um, those are like those are my favorite TikToks associated with that game. It's just like the first time people turn the camera and they're like, "Fuck!" God damn, he's got polygons that are designated for his fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's, it's a, that's where it's Pyramid a unit. Head's ass went. Oh my god. <gasps> uh, R.I.P. Pyramid Head. I just thought of, <laughs> you just reminded me about Silent Hill too, and I'm scared. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm so scared, actually. Oh. Uh, I have no, I have no faith in that. I have no faith in that remake, to be honest. But no, I, I oh, want no. it to be good. <laughs> Isn't there another like Silent Hill game, like a like new there, Silent Hill? Isn't the one like with like two soccer flowers? Yeah. Things. Yeah, I think there's like three, and they're just like. They did the two remake, and then there's like a couple others that they're kind of. I think they're just kind of throwing things at the wall to see what hits. Mm. <laughs> there's one that's like a like live stream ARG type thing that seems real weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not uh, surprising at how weird it is, but I am curious to see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do how game? It, it, mm. They really should have uh, remade Silent Hill for the room. I think that would have been hilarious. <laughs> Thank y'all for being in this episode and we'll yeah. have to have you back to yeah, of course. To talk more Final Fantasy or for sure. literally anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I think I like derailed a lot. <laughs> but you know, I apologize. that's just the show. <laughs> Doing that too. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, how it is. I feel like that's uh, the point yeah. of a podcast though. You kind of like tangent and go around in circles and it's it's great for discussion. Yeah, yeah, we got the theme. That we stayed on theme yeah. at least. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. Um, but yes, how do we want to end this? Uh, I, I, well, we always end on our signature catchphrase, which is, you know, do do crime be crime? I think you've used that one before. <laughs> I have to. Shit. I have to be. T- <laughs> yeah, do crime um, be? Wait, mark? fuck. Um. <laughs> uh, play Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed MMORPG <laughs> that's free to play up until level 16, including the award winning expansion Pat Heavensward. <sighs> We've said that already. <laughs> <laughs> Be gay, do Final Fantasy XIV. That's it, that's the one. There we go. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, boy. Hey, cuties. Thanks for listening to our podcast. If you liked this episode of RK Cuties, be sure to let us know by leaving a review on iTunes, sharing the show with a friend, and leaving a suggestion for future episodes. Make sure to follow us on our social media to stay up to date with our content. We appreciate all of the love and support. Until next time, bye cuties! Bye.